Hey everyone, Steph here from Old Guy Melts Plastic. So yesterday I completed the um, several upgrades on my Voron V2 printer um, that allowed me to push it quite a bit faster. Um, so I'm recording a follow-up video to kind of compare the output that I got at those speeds uh, with other prints that I'd done previously. So uh, you might recall if you're a subscriber or have watched a few of my videos before, um, I recorded a video the other, the other uh, last week, I believe it was, about a week ago, maybe a little more, where I had, uh, I was comparing two cubes, and those are the two that you see here, um, I lie, the two on the left are the two cubes that I was comparing before, and the one on the right here is the one that I printed last night at the faster speeds. So I just want to kind of look at the print quality of each of these and, um, you know, kind of demonstrate what happened um, and we'll talk about it, All right? So uh, this cube was printed at um, stock Andrew Ellis print slicer speeds, super slicer speeds. Um, and I don't have the numbers for that, but if you look up Andrew Ellis's super slicer profiles that he shared online, um, those are the speeds that this cube was printed at. And it took about 55 minutes to render that cube. Um, here I did some tweaking uh, and changes to the slicer based on input that I received from uh, Dirty Kitty Litter and Shifting Tech. And uh, I achieved this cube um, printed in about 33 minutes. So already pretty decent reduction in print time. And then here's the newer faster cube that I printed last night um, at, uh, let's see, most of my print features were at 500 millimeters a second. A few of the um, first layer, top layer were at 80 millimeters a second. And I had Excels, some of the Excel categories were up to 30,000 millimeters per second squared. Um, so here's the 17 minute cube um, printed in basically a third of the time or even less than a third of the time of um, the original one. In fact, uh, I say 17 minute, but it was 16 minutes and 33 seconds, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, it actually printed in under 17 minutes. So let's look at the uh, quality difference between them. And there are some, it's not a perfect, you know, it's not like I, I was able to replicate perfect quality at, um, you know, triple the, triple the time or a third of the time. However, um, caveat, I also didn't do any additional pressure advanced tuning at the faster speeds. So uh, I will do that today and try to run the fast print again to see if I can tune out any of the print artifacts that we're about to look at. All right, so these are the bottom la the bottom uh, faces. Um, and you know, they're all relatively similar, pretty close. I mean, they each have their own little imperfections. Uh, I always say I'm not a perfectionist, I'm a good enoughist, and these are, you know, good enough for me. So let's have a look at the other sides. Um, here we have the side with the X on it. Uh, the slower print has a really kind of clean, crisp, well-defined um, engraved X there. Um, and we see that there's some... Um, you know, blobs in the middle print and, and more so in the other print. Also, the X becomes a little more uh, amorphous and and uh, not as well defined the faster you go. Again, some of that might be tunable um, with some additional print tuning, which I have not yet done. Um, but the surface, like the if I'm looking at the layering, because uh, this is, you know, bottom to top, if I'm looking at the layering of all three cubes, um, the layering is actually not bad um, on all three. So I'm kind of happy with that. Uh, let's look at the Y side. So Y side. Similarly on the Y side here, we have, um, you know, again, very clean, crisp lines for the engraving of the Y here. A little bit less so the faster we go. Um, but still, you know, for a functional print, if I'm prototyping and, and iterating through the design of a part, um, you know, why not save time? I mean, this is close enough. Dimensionally, all of these cubes are within a tenth of a millimeter 
um, in e either direction. Uh, most of the measurements came right to 30.0 millimeters. Uh, in a couple of cases, I had 29.9 millimeters or 30.1 millimeters, but it never went beyond that. So um, not perfect dimensional accuracy, but pretty close and good enough for me. Um, so yeah, the other thing to note about these um, these sides here, the Voron logo and the the uh, border of the Voron logo becomes again a little bit less defined the faster you print, and there's also some additional um, some additional artifacts on the surface up top here. So again, not a perfect print, but still recognizable as what it is. And if you're just trying to um, you know test apart for, um, for that you're designing for whatever reasons um, maybe printing it in a lesser quality at faster speed is is good for you these sides you know I'm not going to call them even um, the corners the edges of the cubes here are again more well defined I did increase the square corner velocity on the final print to uh, 30 from the default of 5 um, and I think that helped a bit but still that that edge isn't quite as sharp um, yeah and then again with the Voron logo on this side so same thing the same story um, you know and I'll perform some additional print tuning to see if I can get the faster prints at a slightly better quality, but you know, that wasn't my goal. I wasn't expecting perfection at the faster print times. Um, maybe it's achievable. Um, comments below and let me know what you think. And then finally, the top layers. Um, let's have a look at that. So here's the top layer for each of those cubes. Um, the bridging in the middle looks pretty good on all three. Um, maybe a little less so at the faster print, but still not bad. And the top surface layer uh, is fairly evenly uh, applied and, and not too many artifacts there. Um, the edges of the, uh, the bore, the circle um, hole, um, do look nice and crisp on all three. So you know, again, I'm happy with the results. Um, maybe a bit of extra tuning can help with that. Maybe I need to scale back my speeds a little bit for my quality prints that I want at the you know best sharpest detail. Um, but we'll see what we can do. Again, thanks for watching. Uh, I do appreciate all the um, the viewers and comments and interactions online. Uh, don't hesitate to reach out to me um, either in the comments or if you can find me on Discord at Old Guy Melts Plastic and um, happy to help you um, achieve the print tuning that you were looking for uh, where I can. I don't have all the answers, but I, I've been working on this for a while now, and I, I've made quite a few tweaks and learned a lot in the process. So if any of the things that I've learned can help you in your 3D printing experience, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks for watching.